Hey, I'm Nick and today I really want to stress the importance of getting something done quickly and more importantly, efficiently. You see, it feels like almost every day I'm saying this, but your body likes feeling like it was productive, like it did something good. It likes that hit of dopamine that comes after doing something, whether instant or delayed. Because when it gets that hit of dopamine, when it feels like it's done the hard work, it feels like it can now relax and just enjoy itself. Which is fine in the big picture of doing hard work and then giving yourself time to relax. But where it starts to get tricky is your brain starts thinking you should relax when you shouldn't be. It starts thinking that you've done a little bit of work, you've gone halfway and now it's time for a break. It's time to take your energy away from spending it and just slacking and enjoying the rest of your day. That is where this starts to get tricky. That is where it starts to muddle up your productivity and make it a lot harder for you to grind through and be productive through the whole day. And if that sounds familiar, that is where procrastination stems from. Procrastination happens when you make excuses to why you can put it off, why you can continue relaxing before getting back into work. Because your body does not like the switch up. It enjoys going from hard things to easy things, not from easy things to hard things. If it's done something that was a little tricky, like going through a morning routine or something similar to a random burst of work, then it thinks that it should relax. If it's gone from doing nothing to uh, being productive and doing work, then a lot sooner will it feel like it needs a break and has done enough work for today. Whereas our goal is to always be grinding it out and going 100%. Your body likes to procrastinate. Your brain likes the feeling of not having to stress out or think about anything else. And as soon as it can make excuses, it's going to make them. It's going to pile it up. It's going to try and convince you to stop doing whatever you're doing because it doesn't understand that there's a bigger scope to just being happy all the time or being comfortable all the time. You're going to have to grind through and get the hard work done, more importantly, hard work, in order to reap the benefits and be in a better state of comfortable because you've gotten the hard work out of the way and you've set yourself up. And so how do we avoid all that? That is the reason why I've talked about being efficient and getting things done quickly. The longer you do something, the less efficient you do something, the more energy you put into something and the less return on investment you get, the more your brain thinks that you've done enough work for the day. If you have bad focus, if you're checking your phone as you're doing one thing and you're multitasking and trying to get a lot of things done at the same time and it's taking longer and longer, then your brain is going to start thinking that You've done a lot of time and it's time for a break. You may have sorted out that you're going to do something for 30 minutes and you stretch it and you stretch it to last 30 minutes. And by the end, you may have not even gotten the thing completed and there's still more work to do, but you reason to yourself that it's time for the break. We want to do things quickly and efficiently. We don't want to be sitting down halfway, taking breaks halfway when we want to be doing the thing as quickly as possible and as efficient as possible. And we want to avoid procrastination. I've already detailed how that's bad. Procrastination leads to less energy being able to be put into the thing. The longer you leave it, the more energy you're going to naturally spend throughout your day. And that means when the time finally comes, you're going to be cramming, you're gonna be in a rush, which is sometimes a good thing. Small deadlines are useful but when you have less energy because of what happened earlier in the day, then that procrastination is going to be bad for you and you're going to stuff up. You're going to be slack. You're going to not be able to do something quickly and efficiently anyway so that you think that you need even more of a break because you're putting so much time in and it's not working because you've set yourself up for failure. So overall, we want to be doing things as quickly 
and efficiently as we can. We want to be putting effort into researching, finding out ways to be able to do that. But that's it for today. However, if you're still interested in learning more about productivity tips or tricks, I've now started one on one coaching, which you can join using the first link in the description below. But until then, I'll see you later.